what's good y'all welcome back to another reaction on this channel man today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation bro as y'all saw by the title this right here is going to be a very very juicy video now this right here is a topic of conversation that we spoke about on this channel multiple times especially with the entire Lil Wayne situation I told you guys that a lot of these artists a lot of these people in the industry they get you know what I'm saying touched when they're first entering the industry bro that's like their initiation we had videos of uh, Lil Wayne exposing Birdman. We have little. We have videos of Lil Wayne and Birdman kissing. We have videos of a bunch of different artists coming out, seeing that they saw younger artists, upcoming artists, men and women, getting uh, physically violated in the process of their journey to becoming who they are now. I told y'all, different ranks require different initiations. If you want to be that top tier A list celebrity, it's gonna take a certain type of de dedication and uh uh uh. Uh, initiation to make it to the next level now check me out bro i told you guys in the last video that i was going to be getting a mic i literally after filming that last video went to get a mic hopefully the audio sounds a little bit better i only want to produce top quality content for you guys so um, if there's still a little bit of an echo i'm going to try to work to fix that and um i'm going to have to you know do something different i have to get some pads on the wall or something like that but let me know in the comment section how the audio is all right uh today we have this video Justin Bieber exposing, you know what I'm saying, I can't really say that word, um, how they run the evil music industry, bro. Like I said, topic of conversation that we've discussed multiple times. Without further ado, leave a like down below, all right? Subscribe if you are new. Make sure I do turn on post notifications. Patreon linked in the description. On the Patreon, we speak about things more in-depth related to this. We can actually speak fully in-depth related to this topic. On YouTube, we can't really talk too much about it because you guys know how the censorship works. On the Patreon, we talk about everything. On the Patreon, we talk about uh, your boy Biden, you know what I'm saying, over here doing the same thing, violating little kids. We talk about a lot of different dark shit going on in the industry. We talk about these different agendas. We talk about everything that goes on in more depth because YouTube does not allow me to do that on this platform. So we have to go to Patreon, all right? Make sure I do click that Patreon link. We have two different subscription models. We have the regular and we have the VIP where we speak about how to escape this matrix, how to control the matrix with your mind, and how to become a better person, how to elevate yourself mentally. But without further ado, man, we're about to hop into today's video and hear Justin Bieber's story, all right? <clears throat> Let's get it, bro. See the title, Justin Bieber. Peas run the evil music industry, bruh. Just in case it's copyright, let me lower this a little bit. Justin Bieber told hundreds of people at a Bible study class in Los Angeles that he has woken up to the evils of the music industry and he needs to take a break from the industry because it is controlled by the absolute worst kind of peep. You know what I'm saying? Can't really say that. Bieber has become a regular at the Bible study class held at the Montage in Beverly Hills, and on Saturday, uh, 22nd of July, he shared what he described as a horrific story with the congregation and explained why he felt he had to quit his world tour. Now, if you guys don't know the path of Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber started off as a young pop star, very, very young, and he ended up uh, like taking a break from music for many, many years and then became Christian. You know what I'm saying? He became Christian, similar to what Kanye West is doing, but guess what? We have to expose Kanye West in tomorrow's video, so stay tuned. Have to expose Kanye West in his Sunday service, bruh. Describing a party on tour attended by the upper echelon of the music business, including executive VPs of development, producers, power agents, and internal financers, Bieber said he was encouraged to S-A-B-U-S-E, a young child, damn, who had been brought to the party for S gratification of the industry elite. So they were trying to get him to be a part of it as well. I didn't want to do this. Just in case that's copyrighted. They said this kid was deep. It was horrible. Bieber said, explaining that it was made clear to him that he would gain entry to the business side of the industry if he joined the club by passing the initiation rights. I want you to pay attention to that. 
Bieber said, explaining that it was made clear to him that he would gain entry to the business side of the industry if he joined the club. It wouldn't be a performer. I'd be, I wouldn't just be a performer, I'd be a, mo a mogul. The path that would have opened up for me like it did for Jay-Z. It's the difference between being a millionaire and being a billionaire. It's a fact. But Bieber told the congregation that he couldn't do it. It's a fact. To join the club, I'd have to do bad things to this kid, but then I realized that even this wasn't enough for them, I'd also have to... Now on this, on the Patreon channel, we talk about the process of um, these government officials and these celebrities. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about A-list celebrities, I'm talking about, like he just said, the VPs, the executives, the people who own these record labels. They do sacrifices, they have blood rituals. They do, they do these sacrificial rituals with kids. And what happens is there's this, there's this chemical released in the body right before you're um, going to pass. It's called adrenochrome. And that's what they do. They put these kids through fear. They do all these different type of acts, just like Justin Bieber explained, and then they sacrifice them. And then they consume their, um, their, their liquid, their blood. You get what I'm saying? And um, that's why you can see so many of these fucking celebrities, 60, 70, 80 years old, and they look like they're 35. That's, that's the chemical of the adrenaline. It's supposed to help you look younger. It's supposed to make you more active. It's supposed to... This is what they claim it to be. And this is what I've seen in different videos on like... Uh, there's this website like DuckDuckGo or some shit. Where you really could find all of the in-depth and secret videos that the world doesn't want you to find out. That's the type of stuff that we react to on the Patreon. But let's continue. Bieber said he had heard rumors about this type of initiation in the music industry. But he had not been confronted with it before. I got told they secretly filmed these parties. Once they've got you on the video doing something like that, they own you. Bieber said his conscience is clear because he didn't participate, but the fate of the is, is haunting him. They said this kid was by a few different guys. They said he was bleeding. I got out of there, but I heard he, and that haunts me. That's certain words I just can't say, uh, I'm sorry. The allegation from Justin Bieber adds to the wave of accusations made by celebrities and musicians about their real nature of the music industry and entertainment industry elite. Corey Feldman and Elijah Wood have both gone have both gone on record exposing Oh, and that's the video that we're gonna be reacting to literally today on the Patreon. I'm sorry I keep mentioning the Patreon, but it's like there's so much shit that I wanna post for y'all here. So much stuff that I wanna actually speak to y'all about here. But there's this uh, Corey Feldman and Eliza Wood, they both speak about it. They even tried to uh, like press charges and everything like that against the people who, who violated them in Hollywood, but it never went through. But let's continue. According to Elijah Wood, innocent young lives are destroyed to satisfy people with parasitic interests who see you as their prey. In an interview on the Sunday Times, Wood dropped a series of bombshells about the, that run the industry. Nothing that clearly, no, nothing that clearly something major was going on in Hollywood. It was all organized. If you read the Washington Post or watch CNN, it's not a problem. And those, is not a problem. And those who talk about it are in tinfoil, hat wearing cook. Huh? I don't know. That's I don't. I'm illiterate for that one. But more and more stars are coming forward with similar stories about the depraved Hollywood and music industry system. In recent months, Nicole Kidman and Lizzie Lohan also spoke about in, in Hollywood. We're going to talk all about this shit, man. Close friends of Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington ex claimed that they recently deceased pair, that the recently deceased pair were working on exposing the ring, working at the heart of the music industry, and it cost them their lives. That's a fact. If you're gonna expose them to that extent, they want you gone. <laughs> now, immediately, oi, ahora. Justin Bieber shocked his fans by canceling his world tour and announcing that he needed some time away from the music industry. 
But as more information comes to light, it appears that he made the best possible decision. And like I told you guys, he made that decision for a very specific reason. He made that decision for a very, very specific reason. Now, I want you to pay attention. A lot of these artists are coming out to social media. You got YK Osiris. You know what I mean? Talking about the devils of the, of the music industry. You got Woe Vicky. You know what I'm saying? You got Justin Bieber. You have a whole bunch of different artists who are actually coming out and to a certain extent exposing their contract. You got this world called Shooky, whatever her name is, a female artist. You got Cardi B talking about facing demons after making certain type of music. I'm saying that to say this. A lot more people are coming out. The truth is getting exposed. But I want you to notice the trend of how all of these people are in the music industry for a certain amount of time. And once they reach a certain level, it's like they're gone. It's like... I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. You got Kanye West, and we're going to talk about him tomorrow, who's out here nowadays, in my, in my firm belief, worshiping false gods. We're going to talk about tomorrow in tomorrow's video, um, his Sunday service stream that included Marilyn Manson. If you guys don't know who Marilyn Manson is, he is literally an open Satan worshiper. Everybody knows him to be very, very satanic. He's very demonic in his ways, and that is the same person that Kanye West had on the Donda premiere of his album, the Donda album premiere. Marilyn Manson was in that. He also had Marilyn Manson at the forefront of his Sunday service. Come on, bro. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. But look, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.